is up everybody welcome to Vogelstang and thanks for tuning into this video so today uh, is finally a beautiful day here in New York uh, can get away with the t-shirt so super nice out today so we have we have a uh, Drake dead pedal Drake gas and brake pedal all right so tools i'm not very organized here with how my tools are laid out for you guys sorry but i'll go through them um you're gonna need okay mainly you're gonna need a 7 30 seconds bit this is your final bit that you're gonna be drilling with um in your brake and clutch pedal i don't have a clutch pedal Uh, this is the final bit that you'll be using um, for the holes but what I would suggest is you get two more bits um, that are smaller than that start off with something like a I started off with 70 60 70 70 60 forts convert that <laughs> um, a 760 forts uh, drill bit it was suggested to start off with a 1 16th, but the ones that I had kept breaking on me. Uh, maybe if you have a more durable 1 16th drill bit, that would work for you. But um, I started off with 764, so you know, if you want to start with whatever you want in between 1 16th and 764, including uh, both of them, uh, go ahead and choose your own. Then I stepped up to a 3 16th drill bit. And again, that's not necessary. You can do whatever you want, you know, maybe 1 8th or 9 64ths or whatever. Um, but bigger than the smaller the one that you used in the beginning and smaller than the 7 30 seconds. So choose your step up appropriately. Um, I just didn't have any of the other ones, see? Empty. Uh, two millimeter Allen wrench. A three millimeter Allen wrench, a center hole punch. I needed a razor blade to cut away some carpet. I used a quarter inch ratchet. This one I used, uh, I had a 5.5 millimeter socket. That's for the nuts on the gas pedal. Uh, I think you also need an 8 millimeter socket. I don't have it here. An 8 millimeter socket for the nuts on the brake pedal and the clutch pedal. Um, to get the gas pedal off, you'll need a 10 millimeter deep socket and a swivel adapter. And I needed some extension bars to get up there. And I use the 3 8 ratchet. You don't have to use a 3 8 ratchet. You can use a quarter inch if you want with the same setup, configuration, whatever you want. Uh, blue masking tape. Love blue masking tape. Uh, black marker. A angle drill gun you're going to need. And potentially a straight drill gun, just a regular drill gun. Um, depending on how your angle drill, drill gun is. Mine was a little too long to get to one of the holes that I had to drill, so um, luckily it was the bottom one, which one of, the, one of the bottom holes, which I was able to use just a straight one for. I missed it before, but you're also gonna need this square bit to get off the uh, old backing plate from the existing dead pedal and to put on the new backing plate. It's on there pretty good.
We'll start with the dead pedal. I think this just pops off. Like so. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get behind the carpet and oh by the way I put on a long sleeve shirt. It's it's I'm in the shade and it's a little chilly. Not that you care, but uh so you have to get behind the carpet and there's there's a plate back here, this plate, you have to remove it. So you have a couple options. One is to remove all this trim and that way it makes it easier to get to the carpet or we're going to try this first. I don't think it goes up. Maybe uh, trying to see how far in it goes. I think you could just get this carpet out without removing the trim. Let's see if we can do that. So I don't know if what I'm doing is a good idea or not, but because um, the only thing I'm worried about is this bending, but I think it's going to be okay. Um, see, now I can get to I can get to the three uh, plastic screws, I guess, in there, which is a square type of bit, which I have to get. Ratcheting screwdrivers are always nice. Take this piece out. And we have to take the back plate off the dead pedal. It comes with it already in there. So uh, let me go ahead and do that. Now that we have the back plate off the dead pedal, uh, it's going to go in there just like so. Screw the plastic pieces back in. And snug. Hey, give me back my bit. All right. Now, we should just be able to get that carpet back in. All right, so one thing that I noticed right away is that you can't really see the holes for where the dead pedal goes into. So I got a razor blade and I'm just going to cut into the carpet. That was my finger. Don't trim your finger. That might be good enough. Let's see. Let's give it a shot. so bad and now let's tighten it down uh, it's three millimeter allen wrench you know what if you have a three millimeter bit oh that's what I'm talking about
pretty easy. Uh, looks a lot better. <sighs> okay, gas pedal or brake? Gas pedal or brake? Which one? So I'm gonna do the gas pedal. Here's the best way to do the gas pedal is there's three nuts up there. One, two, three. I think I'm gonna use two extensions. I was a little short. I was hitting both the brake pedal and the gas pedal when I was trying to ratchet. All right, so now I'm working the other one. And I think maybe I can, this one's kind of loose. So I'm gonna do the rest without the ratchet. So, it just slides right off, and then, uh, and you just gotta undo the, the tab there, push that up. to do with one hand. <laughs> All right, now it's disconnected. I think what I'm gonna do is take this stuff inside. All right, so here's the gas pedal and I already have it installed because um, I wound up losing footage of me doing the install or <laughs> maybe not losing. Uh, it was more like, I don't think it ever recorded to begin with. So, um, I thought it was recording, but I think it was like on a 15 second clip or something on this GoPro, which it, sometimes it's super sensitive the way you touch the screen. Um, and I think I accidentally put it on a 15 second clip and wasn't recording at all, except for 15 seconds worth. So anyway, I'm not gonna take these off. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just kind of talk through uh, the installation of it. Now the gas pedal does come with a bunch of these different brackets. There's one, two, three, and there's gonna be maybe a couple more. And the reason why you get extra is because of, um, throughout the years, there's, there's slightly different versions of how this gas pedal plastic piece is molded and uh, based on the mold of the plastic piece you may have to use different metal pieces to hold the gas pedal down so for this you could see that here's like a, on the uh, in the back here I think you can see right um, there's like a little slot there so that piece is pretty easy to figure out where that needs to go if you have to use that piece and on the other side air there's no slot so um, it's just this little rectangular slightly rectangular piece that goes there and then for the bottom piece I had to use this piece which uh, I think there's also a straight bar that comes and that doesn't work with mine because it has to go around the, the plastic piece right here so, you know what, it just takes a little bit of playing around with the different pieces to see which goes where. It's really not hard, you can figure it out. Um, and then you're gonna use uh, those tiny little nuts. It's a five and a half uh, millimeter. 
that goes on there and on the other side it's a two millimeter uh, allen wrench and just tighten them down and that's it and throw it back on and you're done it really is not that hard at all all right now that we have the gas pedal mounted now it's just a matter of reversing the process and putting it back on first let's plug in snap that in It's the moment that I've been dreading the brake pedal. So, get yourself some blue masking tape. Yes, blue. Throw it on there. Get a black marker, put the brake pedal on so it fits around the edges, and mark your centers of all four holes that you will need to drill. One, make sure you get it in the center. Two, three. Four. I got a center punch that I'm going to put right in the center there. Hopefully that'll help guide the bit. I'm starting out with a 1 16th drill bit. That was my only 1 16th drill bit. Broken. I'll have to try to start it with. I only have a 7 64ths. So. And of course, the drill bit's stuck in there. Ninety degree angle drill won't get to the, the bottom left hole since it's the bottom one uh, I could just use a regular drill and I'll have plenty of clearance 
to get to it. Let's take a look at that real quick. That looks pretty good. Well, looks kind of okay. We'll see. That's, uh, you know what? These gotta like line up perfectly. But now we're gonna step it up. Maybe I think we'll move to a three sixteenths. Now I'm going to 730 seconds. Alright, let's go. Take your well, you gotta watch out for your fingers that you don't want to get metal shards in them. I'm gonna get a glove. So I gotta record this now on my phone because I think the GoPro was a little too close to the to the lamp. And I think it overheated and turned off. So uh, let's see how our holes line up. Let's get this. Let's get some stuff out of the way here. I hope they line up okay. Yeah, see that's what I'm talking about. They don't. I'm going to have problems getting in a couple of the holes. Looks like this is the last one. That's way off. There's no way that's getting in there. So what I'm going to do is tighten up the three and then I'm going to have to drill in there somehow. All right, so I don't have that much more decent footage to show you guys. Uh, since my GoPro died, I was recording with my cell phone and it fell over several times. So I do have some really good footage of my carpet if you want to see that. Anyway, uh, what I did was tighten up the upper and bottom left nuts. And the bottom right was a bit of a hassle though, uh, because there's a metal T-shaped like piece that is so close to the hole that it made it difficult to get the nut on the bolt. Uh, it just, there wasn't enough clearance to get, to get it on. So I wound up using a drill bit to drill away a little bit of the metal. And once I did that, I was able to get the nut on and tighten it down. Uh, now that I had three bolts secured, I drilled away the overlapping metal from the upper right hole so I could get that final bolt in. So what I'd like to ask is for any feedback about what you guys think I could have done to prevent this misalignment. Twice uh, I've done pedals on a Mustang and both times I ended up with one hole being misaligned. Obviously there's something, you know, that I'm doing that's you know, maybe not the best way to do it. Maybe there's a better way to do it. I'm sure there is a better way to do it. Uh, so that way it comes out perfect. Uh, so, uh, but I can't think of anything really at this time. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. That would be greatly appreciated. And it would also help out anyone that's potentially uh, watching this to prevent it happening to them. Oh, I think I got it. I just have to hold it. All right. 
it's in there. It's done. You know, it just takes a little bit of persistence. And uh, that's really it. Um, it's, it's, it's a pain. Uh, you're not working in the best spot either. So it's kind of a, it's a very tight spot. So um, it's tough to get your hands in there, both hands in there. So it's, it's, it, it was not fun, but it's done and it looks a lot better. So it's worth it, right? I think it's worth it. A lot better than the factory rubber pedals. Uh, but that's it. So if you're looking to do this install, know what you're in for. Um, dead pedal and the gas pedal, fairly straightforward and easy. And if you, uh, the brake pedal is a pain. And if you have a manual transmission, the clutch pedal is going to be a little bit of a pain too. But with a little persistence, you can get them done. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, this video, if it helped you out, please hit that like button. Please, please, please. And uh, if you want to see more content and more installs and more, well, racing in the future, uh, hit that subscribe button. More to come. See ya.